Hey, 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 numbers. Greetings, YouTube. Ooh, I am out here today. This is going under look, Pablo shenanigans. Look, we got Pablo in the house. <laughs> it's going under exercise and mental health. We're going to do a, a story time. <sighs> if, if some of the older numbers remember, me and Pablo used to come out here and walk in this park every day. And now it's been so long since we walked the park, I don't even know if I can make it around. So I parked in the middle. So just in case I don't make it around the whole park, then I can stop in the middle and uh, go from there. Pablo, don't trip me up. I don't even know if I'm going to make it. That's why I pulled out my phone. And I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to keep talking. So I can keep myself distracted. <sighs> Maybe if I keep myself distracted. Then... But it's really hot out here. I think I picked the wrong day. To be out here. Picked the wrong time. I should have waited until later, but I got bored, so. <sighs> doctor's office calling. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to the doctor, trying to get my, trying to Iyanla fix my life, and um, trying to get all my sugars and stuff check but yeah we out here trying to get our summer body me and pablo uh, let me get into the story time okay well i decided i wanted to um start dating again right okay so gets online Join the uh, weight, I mean the weight loss. <laughs> Join the um, Plenty of Fish website, dating website. Okay. I know that was a, a bad website, but you know what? I was like, I'm going to go ahead and try this website because I want to check, check, check the temperature. Pablo, don't get your feet muddy on this. Let's try not to get our feet muddy. Ugh. I'm going to join the dating site, so I'm going to check the temperature, see what the men is like nowadays, and I'm also checking the temperature of my own self, so it'll let you know how healthy you are when you see the people you're interacting with and how quickly you shut down the BS, and um... So I was trying to see, was I healthy enough to date now? Uh, so, I want to just want to say, I was on this website for about three weeks. And I had to get off. I'm, let me tell you, I never blocked so many people so fast. So that let me know that. I was a little bit healthier in my dating, but it also lets me know that I wasn't ready to date because, man, I did not take these people seriously, so how could I expect them to take me seriously? And I really wasn't taking them seriously at all. It was like, what is your profession? Oh, I was coming up with anything. My main one, I was an engineer at NASA. Oh. I was like, okay. Because I have learned that um, when people ask you what is your profession, it's an innocent question on the out. But on the end, people just look, scammers just looking at how much money they can hit you up for. So if they think I'm an engineer at NASA, they gonna hit me for the big bucks. But if I tell them I'm a kindergarten teacher at my local school, then you know, they'll probably 
Just hit me with the little bucks. <laughs> hit me up for the little bucks. <laughs> also, you know, I've noticed, I've noticed another question that people ask. Um, tell me about yourself. Oh my goodness. Tell me about yourself. No, no, no. Usually that is just an innocent question, a uh, uh, icebreaker, conversation starter, but no, no, no. Tell me about yourself means they're trying to get all the information they can about you, and they will be listening intently because they will remember, and then when it comes back up later, they'll pull it out of their trick bag. You tell them about some kind of traumatic incident, man, don't think it ain't going to come back up later. So just be, keep, be careful with that. And another question. What was that other question? The other question that they asked? Uh, oh, tell me what you looking for. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. People say, tell me what you're looking for. No, no, no. It sounds so innocent on the onset, but no. Tell me what you're looking for means all they're trying to do is shape shift and morph into whatever you say. Because if you're looking for, if I say I'm looking for an honest church going man, who loves the Lord and like, okay, he's going to morph into this Sunday going or pastor or he's going to morph, he's going to morph into or she's going to morph into whatever you said you was looking for just so they can fit the criteria. Ooh, they got the water on today. They can fit the criteria and, and be what you want, be they're going to be what you want them to be. Okay, Pablo, you want to go and get a little, get a little wet? Try not to get my phone wet. We're going to try to go in here and get just a, ooh, don't want to get down there and get dripped on. Look, when that pop over, look. Oh my goodness, ain't that nice? Ain't that nice? Oh my. <laughs> no, Pablo. Come back. Come back, buddy. Come on, you can get a little refreshing water. You want to get wet? We're going to walk under here and get wet. Ooh, don't get the phone wet. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. All right. Look, I done got my feet wet and everything. Okay. Let's get out of here. I didn't get wet enough. Now my feet went. Okay. Anyway, what I was talking about. Oh, people morphing into what they, what you say. So, no, it ain't going to, what am I looking for? No, I'm not looking really. Because, uh, you know, the Bible said, he who findeth, not she who findeth. But, yeah. Yeah. Whew. Okay. My back is hurting a little bit. I had got a little sweaty. But now I didn't got a little cool from the water. Pablo, come on. Don't twist me up. No, come around this way, please, buddy. Uh, it's easier walking without him, but... You know, he got to go for a walk, too. Look, now he won't come on. Come on. I usually let him go run around and play in there. I usually let him go run around and play in there. And, and just sit here and wait for him. But, uh, yeah, we ain't doing that today. We ain't doing that today. We're going to keep on going. They didn't cut the grass all here. Up here all nice. Oh. Okay, let me see. 
Oh, y'all, let me tell you about this. Out of the, out of the 99, probably over 99, 99 men who I was in contact with on this website, I only made it to all of three dates and none of them went to a second date. Um, uh, I think two of them blocked me or something or never got back with me and one of them I blocked but you know we all knew it wasn't we knew at the time it wasn't leading to anywhere but um yeah it was a nice little um nice little experience this one guy who I was talking with on the phone now I really liked him I really liked him. We didn't get to a date because he lived out of town. I think it was like, I don't know, an hour away or something. But yeah, I wasn't willing to, I wasn't willing to go too far away from home, especially on a first date. Because you know, they might not show up. So I'd be trying to stay close to home. But I had talked to him on the phone. But two of those weeks out of those three. Uh, Pablo, I got to sit down for a minute. Ugh. I had talked to that man. Two. Well, we made it halfway. We made it halfway without me. Before I had to sit down. So I think I'm doing pretty good for my first time back out here. So I'm thankful for that. I'm doing pretty good. But, um, anyway, like I was saying, um, I had talked to him and we was talking like every other day and some kind of way he was like, um, I sure, cause I told him I was a YouTuber and I gave him my YouTube channel and he was looking at my videos and he said, um, I really like the way you look in them jeans. You look at, okay, Pablo, come on. You looking um real good in those jeans. And I was like, I really don't know what picture you're talking about. But then when I realized what picture he was talking about, I was like, oh, okay, I know what picture it is. Sir, I just got to tell you, that picture, that picture is from like four or five years ago. And, uh... I know I have to be at least 50 pounds heavier than I am in that picture. And he said, oh. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that oh. That old sent chills through my body. And I'm like, oh, god damn. <laughs> because, first of all, it was like, it was like a knock to my, to my ego when he said, oh, because that means that he wouldn't like me 50 pounds heavier. But then I was thinking about, you know what? At least he was honest. You got to hate you got to respect the honesty. <laughs> and honestly, I think he said, ooh. I think he said, ooh, before he even noted. it. Because when I was like, oh, wait a minute. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. But on my profile, I didn't put no kind of filters on my pictures. I had a full body shot on there, an up-to-date body shot. So I wasn't lying about what I looked like or anything. But um yeah, that man said, ooh. So that kind of turned me off against him. So that let me know. I know we are about looks, and looks means a lot. But that ooh, that ooh sent the chill through my body. And then I got defensive too. Cause I was like, ooh. All right, you know what? F you. 
F you, you know? Like, the pictures I had seen of him, he wasn't all that. But, <laughs> it's gonna say, ooh. But I'm like, okay, you know what? He, he can like what he likes, so. Hey, he can like what he like. He don't know that I come from 400 pound life. So, I was like, oh, you know what? Forget him. You know what? That's all right. But, you know, I think we still had a couple of short conversations after that. But he was supposed to come to Dallas. And uh, when it came time for him to come to Dallas, he uh, he never called no more. So, I never talked to him again after that. And that was that. Uh, let me tell you about this other date. This other date I was on. Um, uh, uh, the guy called me weird. And you know what? I embrace, I embrace being weird. Cause he not the first person to call me weird. And he damn sure ain't gonna be the last. I'm sure of that. Cause I embrace being weird now but when I think of weird I think of a person who is quirky different goes against the grain uh, usually what I can say is they um follow the beat of their own drum that's, a, that's what I want to call it but you know think about it if you think about it Pablo come on now I'm getting hot we got to finish come on when you think about it when somebody use the term weird they're not they're not trying to say anything positive they don't mean anything positive about it <sighs> and then um why would you what is the purpose what is the purpose of telling somebody they weird? That's what's like, okay, I don't understand that. But I let that slide too. Because I tend to think about stuff later on after it has happened. I'm, I'm really good in hindsight. Not too good on the spot. But um, yeah, I had let that go. But yeah, he was the one, he was one of the ones that didn't didn't contact me again after that and i thought he was cool too except for he was a little vain i think he showed me at least a hundred pictures no i'm, I'm exaggerating <laughs> he showed me a lot of pictures of him and if y'all don't know i can't even see good so it looked like different people to me but uh yeah he was a little vain but he was cool Overall, he was cool, but, yep, yeah, I guess he wasn't feeling me, but I was like, okay, it was like a week later after that, I was done, I was done, I was done with the dating website, I was like, okay, I'm not healthy enough, I need to meet somebody in person, because I was thinking everybody on this website is a little quick. And if everybody on the website cray cray and I'm on the website, what that mean? Huh. I mean I'm cray cray too. So yeah. We had to get on off of there. But alright, Pablo. We have made it around the whole freaking park. The whole freaking park. Yay. Alright. Alright. That's my time. Come on, Pablo. Tell them that's our time. Tell them we see y'all later. Peace.